Welcome to this moment. I am Natalie. We're about to get started. I'd like you to grab a few things. I'd like you to grab your shoes, put them on, grab a mat and your handheld weights. And also, if you have ginormous water bottle, grab that. It is summer where I am. And so it is time to get started. Keep those bodies hydrated. Grab all those things and let's get started. Welcome to my home. I am Natalie. It is fantastic to see you in this moment of time. Let's start out by shaking out those bodies. It's a fantastic way to trigger your brain that we're going to do something different or just prepare it that we're about to get started. Wiggle out your limbs. Shake out your head. Wiggle your shoulders. Wiggle those arms. Bend and straighten those knees, wiggle those hips, roll through the feet. Give your body a big old shake. <laughs> and then just for a few seconds, I'd like you to just bounce. I don't want to shake the camera too much, so just bounce it out. Just bounce. Allow those shoulders to fall away from your ears. And as a matter of fact, pretend you're being lifted by your ears. Start to feel your abdominals engage. Pull those quads on. Engage them. Soft bend in your knees. And bounce for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale up. Breathe a big old deep breath in, and as you exhale, bend in. Really hinge through those hips. Inhale back up. And exhale, release. And I want you to really bend generous, generously as you hinge forward. Let's get some blood flow. I'm going to switch my arms to straight up and down and bend and swing those arms. Make sure your space is cleared so you don't hit anything. Let it out through an open mouth. <sighs> Three more. <sighs> One more. Open through those shoulders and exhale. Bring it up. Fan those arms out to the side. Roll shoulders up, back, and down. Find a soft bend in your knees. Lengthen tailbone towards the floor. Lengthen from the tops of your ears. Looking right and left. Maybe when you're looking right and left, you wiggle your jaw. If you have any tension, wiggle it out. Draw shoulder blades down your back, away from your ears. Wiggle out those fingers, wiggle out those toes in your shoes. Return you, looking forward again, bring chin to chest. Wiggle those shoulders, wiggle your head side to side. Wiggle your jaw. Release your tongue, wiggle it out. And roll yourself back up. Let's make our cactus shape. Drawing shoulder blades together. Try not to lock out those knees. Still keep that soft bend in your knees. But keep those quads engaged. And then round through the spine. Belly button to spine. Find that flexation in that spine. And then inhale back up. And round. Inhale, and exhale. Two more just like this. Getting some movement in your spine and your upper body. Stay in this rounded position. Drop any tension out of your shoulders. Shake your head, no, not at yes. Wiggle your jaw. Wiggle your tongue, wiggle your fingers and toes. And then on your next inhale, open those arms up, clasp them behind your back, drawing those uh, fingers towards the floor. And see if you can bring those hands off of your bum. So really lengthen. See if you could bring it away from your glutes or your lower back.
drop those shoulders. Just a gentle shake of your head. And release, shake it on out. Let's get into your side body, inhaling right arm up. Exhale, hinge over to that left side and back up. Let's do that again. Inhale up and release. I really want you to release through an open mouth. Let everything out of your body. Prep it to lift some weights so no energy gets stuck anywhere. Stay here for a breath or two, really reaching your fingertips away from that right heel. And then I want you to engage your core, navel to spine, round through the spine. Bend your knees, start to bring your trunk over those thighs. Bend your knees generously. Hang here like a rag doll. Shake your head, nod it. Wiggle all the things that I've shared before. And press firmly into those feet evenly and roll yourself up. Head is last, fan those arms up, back, and behind you. Put your awkward thumb on top this time. Really reach towards the floor, but bring those hands away from your rear, my dears. Lengthen from your ears. And release those hands. Let's get into your left side body. Inhale up. Nice and tall. Exhale. Hinge. And, and do this a few more times. Let's do it one more time. And stay over there for a few breaths. Add a smile, maybe that helps. Beautiful, engage your abdominals, navel to spine round. Start to bend through those knees, hinge at the waist. Really hang here like a rag doll. Drop your rear a little bit more, pulling abdominals away from your thighs. Press into the floor, roll it up. Fan those arms up, back, and around. Circle shoulders. And reverse. And reverse again. And shake it out. Widen those feet wider than hip distance width. Find a nice bend in your knees. Open through your heart and your chest. Let's swing and twist side to side. Just being mindful your head, your eyes are following the direction you're going in. Oh. Yeah, Emily's not going to like that. There's a big bug on the wall. <laughs> See, I saw that twisting. It's real life, people. Real life. Start to slow down. Slow down all the way. And return facing front again. And let's circle those hips. Circle the other direction. Side to side. Even though we're going to work our upper body, our triceps today, we still want to warm up our whole body. Why do you ask? Because these are the muscles that are supporting us and we want them to feel warm and good. Ready to support our upper body to keep everything in alignment. And now your pelvic tilt. Try not to really... Uh, that's not what we're doing. So just lengthen tailbone and release. And I'm not really thinking about squeezing my glutes. I'm thinking of my tailbone lengthening, dropping towards the floor. So do that a few times. Find the length in your spine in both directions. Awesome. Moving on down, let's roll through the feet. Maybe we roll through the wrists, both directions. 
creating a fist and explode, a fist and explode. Move those thumbs. Maybe you're like, I can't do both of that at the same time, though. Just do what you want, do what you need, it's your body. Stay over here on this right side, circle. Reverse. Spring that foot off the floor, push it off the floor. Two more. And let's circle this left ankle. No matter, no matter what we're doing, no matter what movement, think how this side of your body is supporting balance over here. Reverse. So try not to lock out that knee. Everything you do, approach it with engagement, alignment. Try not to hyperextend or lock things out and push away from the floor. Awesome. Let's do two more. Let's shake it out. Let's take that left leg behind you, square those hips, roll shoulders up, back and down, really press into that back heel. Let's say hi to our legs. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hinge. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hinge. Flat back. Three more. Now stay here, lengthen your spine in both directions. Core engage, maybe have hands on hips, maybe you draw your hands behind you, palms facing inward, squeezing those triceps, try and bring them together, no tension in your jaw. Now inhale, bring those arms up, lengthen your back leg, find your balance, come up on those toes. Nice long spine, bend both knees, press your arms out into that T. Find your balance, also finding a nice stretch in your hip flexor. Gently release that back heel to the floor. Bring those arms back up. Bring your back leg in a little bit. Come up on that right heel. And nice and long, and then press hips back. Long spine, core engaged. No tension in your jaw. Toe taps. Lower your front foot, bend your front knee. Keep that spine nice and long. Release those hands, biceps by the sides of your ears, core engaged. Now press those arms to the side and all the way back. Palms facing in. Inhale up, press up. And release. Roll shoulders. Bring that right leg behind you. Roll shoulders up, back, and down. Lengthen your leg behind you. Find your calf stretch first. Really pressing into that back heel. Inhale, lengthen. Let's say hello to the muscles on this side. Exhale, hinging from the waist only. Long spine. Back up. And on your exhale, hinge. Three more, just like this. See how your body is working together 
to stabilize itself without wobbling or if you're wobbling, yay. You're building strength, you're building flexibility, you're building muscle. Hold it here, please, nice long spine. Core engage, roll shoulders back. Press those arms behind you. Triceps are up. No tension in your jaw. Inhale with me. Lengthen your back leg. Back coming up on those toes. And then really press your arms out into that T. And gently release your back heel to the floor. Let's bring our right foot in a little bit closer. Inhale those arms up, bring your weight all on that right foot, up on that left heel. Exhale, hinge from the hips, pressing those hips back, up on that left heel, toe taps. And lower your front foot, bend your front knee. Core engaged. Reach those arms along your ears, biceps along your ears. No tension in your jaw. And take those arms behind you, fan them back. Reach behind you, squeeze those arms together. And inhale up. And exhale, bring that foot in, release. Shake it on out. Bend the elbows a few times, forward, front, side, away from you. Shake it on out, grab some water, get your weights, and let's do this. Make sure you have shoes on. Protect those toesies. I like to have options, so grab various weights. We're gonna take our left leg behind us, bending both knees, hinge forward. Oh, you're like, oh, now I know why she did that. Okay, hinge forward, there's a method to my madness. Triceps, you ready? Here we go, reach back. Core is engaged, shoulders away from your ears. Beautiful, switch out your legs. Bend both knees, you're up on those toes. On that right foot, continue. 10, nine, eight, no tension in your jaw. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna do one more. Nice. Bring that leg in. Release one of your weights. Taking it behind you. You make sure you can see me. So we're going to lift it up. Sorry for messing with my camera today. I didn't have it as ready as I did a couple days ago. <laughs> ready? Keep your core engaged. Soft knees. Lengthen your spine. Lift. Try and keep your ribs together. I'm gonna switch out to a heavier weight. Let's shoot for 12. Core engaged, pelvic floor lifted. I have two more. 
finish your set. Awesome. Release your weight. <sighs> Share heart rate kind of fast. Mine is. Yay. Getting those lungs, your heart working as well. So we did those. Another tricep exercise. Feet wider than hip distance width. Find a good base. Engage your core. Bend your knees, hinge forward, long spine. And we're just gonna bring our arms together. Boom, boom. Try and bring those arms together behind you for 12. Beautiful. Bring yourself back up. Roll shoulders up, back and down. How are you feeling? Doing okay? Let's bring our arms out to the side. We're gonna bring our arms above our head. 12. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Stay here. Lower. Bring it up and lift. Good. Three more here. Two more. Anybody else sweating? I'm super sweaty. Last one. Yes, nice work. Let's lower those weights safely. Roll shoulders. Feet wider than hip distance width. Find a good base again. We're going to bring those arms together behind us. Again, one more time. 12. Four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Roll shoulders up, back, and down. One more tricep exercise as we're standing. So bring your arms here, shoulder distance, and you can do one at a time. And extend. You can do both sides, alternate. You can, yeah. So choose what you would like to do and see if you can maintain it for 10 to 12. Try not to lock out your knees, core engaged. Lower your shoulders, no tension in your jaw. Core engage. Ooh, I'm halfway done. Super hard. Six. If my counting doesn't help, don't listen. Four more. Look at you doing hard things. You guys are amazing. Yes. Beautiful. Gently release. Finish your set. Roll shoulders. Let's take our weights out of the way. Shake out those hands. Circle your wrists a few times. 
Grab some water. Sweaty. Grab your mat. We're going to head on down for the second part of your triceps as well. Finishing out nice and strong with, with some core. I'm going to take off my shoes. You know me. I don't need to say the spiel. I don't like my tennis shoes on my mat. It's my yoga mat. So get out your mat. Lay it out. See how you're feeling. Wiggle it on out. Shake out those arms. Shake out those legs. Whew. Let's bring our feet wider than hip distance width. Roll shoulders, engage your abdominals, pull quads away from your knees. Inhale up. Exhale, hinge forward. Bend those knees super generously. Shake your head, nod it, wiggle your jaw. And since we're here, let's do those elephant walks, meaning straighten one leg, bend one knee and alternate. Maybe you look under the opposite of your bent knee, under that armpit, get a nice side body stretch. Couple more. Beautiful. Bend both knees super generously. Bring fingertips to the floor if they're not there already. Come down to your knees. Your arms should be nice and warmed up. But let's make sure those wrists are under shoulders, knees under hips. Core engaged, nice long spine. And exhale all your stale air out and round through the spine. Cat. Get a nice stretch in your upper back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lower your belly. Lift your heart, your chin, your eyes. One more. Exhale. Inhale. Stay here, shake out those hips a few times. And on your next inhale, return back to a flat back. And let's take some tailbone circles while we're here. Hip circles, whatever feels good in those hip joints. Lower back. Find some stillness. Curl toes along the mat. This is not necessarily a tricep exercise, but it works the whole body. You're a beast. Are you ready? Lift those knees. Lift and lower again. Lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift. And lower. Lift. And lower six more on your own. I have three more here. Three. Core engage. Two. Core just one and hold it. You're a beast. You do hard things every day. Congratulations. Gently lower. Keep those curls toed, those toes curled along the mat. Bring those hips back. Sit on those toes. And if this is not accessible to you today, you know, come on up. Maybe find movement here. But really what I want to do is circle those wrists. Because what are we doing? A tricep workout? I love you. Uh-oh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Come up off of those toes, squeeze them together, and wiggle them out. Maybe gently bat them on the mat. Okay, my friends. Your tricep workout. From that tabletop, bringing those wrists ahead of those shoulders slightly. Pressing hips back into a modified plank. 
I'm sorry, press those hips forward. Having a lot of mouth problems today, sorry. So, options here. Knees on the ground. Tricep push-ups, really keep those triceps close to your body, elbows to the body. Ready, here we go, lower down. Two, lift, two again. Beautiful. Three more, just like that. You got that. Two more. Nice. One more. Beautiful. Now stay here in your modified plank or lift those knees up. And we're going to reach. We're going to reach. Make sure those fingertips are also supporting you. So we're going to reach our left arm back. Palm facing up and down. Now right. So you're leading with that tricep. Keep your core engaged. Long spine. This can be done with your knees up. Three more sets. Lift, squeeze. Two more. Keep your lower abdominals engaged. Woo. Nice, one more set. Beautiful. Press those hips back, sitting on the tops of your feet. Circle those wrists. We're gonna do that one more time. Six tricep push-ups and then reaching back. So now is your option to decide whether you wanna come up off of those knees or maybe one knee. Let me show you what that looks like. Go back to your modified plank. Let's say we're gonna do push-ups, tricep push-ups. Maybe raise your right knee up off the mat. Do three on this side, lower it, lift your left, do three on this side. Ready, here we go. Lift. And now I'm going to switch my knee and bring my left one up. Yeah, baby. Nice. Okay, take it like you want, whether you're doing a full plank or your modified plank, and bring that arm up and back to the mat. Then your other arm. Really reaching, lifting with that tricep. Keep your core engaged, especially your lower abdominals. Three more sets, you got this. And two. And one. Beautiful. Press those hips back. Hmm. Now you can bring big toes together. You can keep your legs together. You can keep your knees apart. Just take this recovery pose for just a moment before we flip on our back. Good way to recover when you're in this child's pose. Bring your arms to the sides of your legs, round through the shoulders. This is one of those opportunities to feel free to round through the shoulders. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale through an open mouth. Beautiful, come on up. Let's come to our glutes. Walking our hands behind you, lift your heart, your chest. Feet are flat on the mat. Fingertips pointing forward. Soft bend in your elbows, never hyperextending any joint. 
Walk those feet out. Press up. Now you can walk your feet out if you want. You can keep them flat. And let's just bend those elbows and press up. Bend and up. One more, bend and up. Beautiful, drop your rear. Grab one leg, roll down to your back. Stretching arms above your head, legs nice and long. Wiggle between those shoulder blades, open those shoulders. Let your breath start to slow down. Not all the way though. Catch your breath. Let's finish nice and strong with some core exercises. Beautiful. Let's bring our feet to the mat, bending those knees, bringing our arms, our hands behind our head, supporting our head, elbows straight out to the side. Let's go old school. I want to see 12 crunches. Here we go. Lift, lower. No tension in your jaw or neck. Six more here. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Let's lower those knees to the left side, please. Oblique crunches. Twelve here. Five, six, seven, eight. Lift and down. Six more here. Six. Five. Four. Three. Ooh, two. One. Ooh, beautiful. We're not going to stretch it out yet. Back to the center. Twelve crunches in the center. Set it up. Here we go. Twelve. Here's six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh, yeah. Are you feeling it yet? <laughs> Can you tell by my breath I am? Lower those knees to your right side. Oblique crunches on this side. Twelve, please. Here we go. <sighs> Keep going. I have four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Oh my goodness, bring knees to your chest, rock back and forth. And lower your right foot onto the mat. Let's curl our, up, our trunk up off the mat. And lengthen right leg and switch. And switch. Keep going. Halfway done. Keep breathing. Ah, 
beautiful finish lower down bringing knees to your chest as a matter of fact rock back and forth a few times and then lengthen arms and legs away from each other get a big old full body stretch here Awesome. Let's open those arms out to a T. Widen your legs as wide as the mat. Still thinking of your abdominals. Engage them. We're going to take our right leg to our right leg, our right arm to our left leg, looking like this. Reach and then left. So alternating, this is hard, we're finishing here. You got this, we do hard things every day. Okay, here we go. In control. Holy smokes, are you feeling it? Three more sets. Two more. <sighs> this is hard. One more, you gotta keep that core engaged. Try not to jerk the motion. Lift. You got it, finish it strong. Talking to myself. Oh my God. Ooh, nice work today, you guys. Stretch those arms above your head. Legs away from arms, stretch in both directions. Feet flat on the mat. Lift those hips over to that left side trunk legs extended to that right side find that banana shape take the option here of crossing ankles or not left over right get a nice side body stretch start to let your heart return to its natural cadence core is really hard for me I tend to like the core work in ballet or Zumba, but doing those, you know, um, old school exercises, I tend to struggle. But that's okay, right? We struggle on certain things in life. Release that stretch. Feet flat on the mat, adjust yourself. Take those hips over to that right side. Trunk and legs extend to the left, crossing or not. Using opposite arm to lengthen your right arm above your head. Breathe. Beautiful. Release that stretch. Adjust your hips back on the mat. Bring knees to chest. Rock back and forth. So your options here are to cross at the ankles and rock yourself back up. Or roll to one side, press yourself back up, and join me on your knees, please. I'm going to rock up. Swing those legs behind you. Coming up on those knees. I want to try something with you. One more core movement. We're only going to do three on each side. And I don't even know if I could do it. But stabilize yourself on this side, and I want you to bring it up and down. Now, this can be done 
on a wall to stabilize yourself. So maybe you want to use a wall. So we lift and down. Two, three, and then just try the other side. I just want you to try this, trying new things together, trying hard things. Just try three. When I showed it to you, my leg went up. So what do you do? I'm using the wall to stabilize myself. Beautiful. Come back to hands and knees. Walking hands in front of those shoulders, curl toes, press hips up to that down dog. Pedal through those feet. Core engaged. Spine is long. Roll through those feet a few more times. Wiggle your hips. And bend those knees. Let's walk those feet towards our hands. Really bend your knees super generously. Shake your head. Shake your jaw. Wiggle your tongue. Say no with your head. Say yes. Press into those feet firmly. Take your time. Roll yourself back up. Arms fan up, back and down. Find your T, bringing right arm across your body. Stretch out that tricep, bringing the arm behind you. Now, I don't know how flexible you are, but if you're super flexible, see if you can try getting your fingers. <laughs> Goals. I'm getting close. And gently release other side. Thank you for joining me today, working out your triceps. I hope you feel them. I do already, I'm like worn out. Up and over. What I'd like you to be mindful is keep those ribs closed, try not to splay them open. Keep everything in alignment like you have the suspenders connected to your bottom rib, to your hip bone. I tend to, <laughs> that's why I say it. I cue for you and for me. And release into that cactus shape. Let's do one more shoulder stretch, bringing right arm under left. Forearms, oh, drop your shoulders away from ears, forearms away from face, but pushing forearms together, curl inward. And inhale back up, release those arms, bringing left under right, crossing once or twice, lifting elbows, dropping shoulders, forearms away from your face, but pressing close together, curl inwards. Inhale back up, release your arms, open your heart, your chest super wide, and release. Shake it on out, feet underneath those hip bones, close your eyes gently. What I'd like you to do is before we leave, I'd like you to bounce again. I'd like you to leave anything here on the floor you don't want to carry out with you into the world, out into today. So shake it, bounce it out, wiggle it out, close your eyes. Five, four, three, two, and one. Find your feet right underneath those hip bones. Roll shoulders up, back and down. 
fire those abdominals on. I hope your body feels warm and fired on. Let's share a breath together to end this moment we had together. Inhale up. Exhale, release. Do it again. Inhale up. Let it out through an open mouth. One more inhale. Bring your hands together, draw them close to your heart. Exhale and bow your head in gratitude for showing up for yourself today. Thank you for joining me today. Te quiero mucho gracias. I love you. Have a fantastic today. Today, have a fantastic day. Enjoy your day and I'll see you next time.